Yeah, it says it's the best water source in 20 miles. Uh, so, I mean, hopefully there's something there, but it does say as of May 7th, great area for camping, but it doesn't say how many. Yeah, that's why I keep looking, like, just going down the rabbit hole. Yeah, so we'll stop there and regroup. Yeah. Oh, excellent campsites with room for like 15 tents. Okay, there you go. Between the creek and the stream. Okay. We probably only spend around 20% of each day in one another's company. That includes taking breaks or being at the campsite. The rest of the time, the other 80% of the time, we spend out here walking the trail by ourselves. And that way, for me at least, it's the perfect mix, the perfect balance of solitude, time alone, and time spent sharing the experience with the people I am walking with. Feels like we're always going up on the Appalachian Trail. Perhaps because downhills are short-lived, you're much faster going down than up. But nevertheless, you're always going up. And you have to get used to that. You have to make peace with that being the case. Otherwise, you're not only gonna be disappointed, you're gonna wanna quit. I was watching Survivor last night and there was a girl, Michaela, who told a bit of a lie in order to protect the feelings of her teammates, her friends. And a couple of days later she was asked about that and she said, you know, sometimes in life you say what you, you're supposed to say and sometimes in life you say what you want to say. And I thought to myself, whoa, what a, what a nugget, what a truth bomb which could be the basis for many of the biggest decisions in life. And then this morning I'm thinking about it in the context of when I left school and I went searching for a career, I decided upon banking and investments. One, because I thought there'd be good money in that in the future. And then secondly, because that sounded like a respectable role to have, a respectable job title and a secure job I could hold down long term. But thinking about it now, and with the mindset and experience I have now, I wonder why, at such a young age, when I have the world at my feet and I can do anything, why did I pick banking and investments? I didn't have anything holding me back, holding me down. I had no real ties or commitments, no mortgage, no debt, no children, etc. And I think the answer to that question is simply because sometimes in life, you do what you think you're supposed to do and not perhaps what you want to do. What a bridge, what engineering. How's your feet and body the past couple of days? Yeah, we've well, been ramping up the miles, so um, definitely feel it. What about in the head? Uh, not as good as usual, 
Like we don't see each other because of all the rain, just days and days of rain. So uh, yeah, it feels like I'm hiking alone again. It's kind of a bummer. You know the way they call this the green tunnel? I don't know if you felt this way, but I felt like the scenery the past two days was a bit mind bending because you're just constantly seeing the same thing in front of you. I think that's, that makes it hard to stay motivated too. It does. I mean, just, you just want to get to the end of the day. But I mean, like, we used to look forward to sitting down, having coffee and eating together, hanging out. And now it's just, what, scramble into my tent and read a book. <laughs> we are going to head down to a hostel now called Woods Hole near Perrysburg, Virginia. And remember, Virginia is for lovers. I'm looking forward to getting down here just to put the feet up, have a coffee, maybe a soda, maybe a proper meal, and just to see who else is about. We haven't seen many other hikers this past week, and especially with the rain, we haven't really had much conversation or interaction at all. My name is Soapy Joe, and I thought that was long, so I just started telling people, just call me Soapy. Oh, you know? I like that. How did you get Soapy Joe? That's my dogs. Both my dogs, I'll show you now, now that you ask. Um, had two dogs. They're gone now. So that's Soapy. Yeah. And that's Joe. Uh, and when I started hiking um, in 22, I was talking to, um, you know, my new hiking friends, and started talking they wanted to get to know me and I started talking about my dogs and I just didn't stop and anyhow and I and I said if I don't get a trail name for a real long time and I don't want to name myself right I don't want to name myself I said I would love to be called Soapy Joe if I don't get one from the trail right and I just telling this to my friend from Germany that I just met a few days ago mm. and he stopped on the trail. He was in front of me. He stopped. He turned around. And he goes, <clears throat> "You're Sophie Joe." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, let's try it out." And I went to a shelter and I introduced myself to somebody for the first time as Sophie Joe. And then that person came back and said, "Hey, Sophie Joe." <laughs> and I heard my my name and my dog's names, and it was just, and I, it's the same. It never ends. That I still it. love hearing my name because it's, it's my dogs. Yeah. And they were my family, my kids, like everything. They yeah. saved my life. I feel my dogs all yeah. the time on the trail. Yeah, so they're, they're still with me and sure. they're waiting for me. And, yeah. you know, I yeah. will go see them again. Yeah. I believe in heaven because they're there and I will be too, you know. My grandma yeah. always yeah. said, she knew her Bible back and forth, that dogs go to heaven. So I believe my grandma. <laughs> What was it that made you want to come out and hike the AT the first time? I didn't know the AT existed until about five months before I hiked it. And I started watching YouTube videos for just came on. And I could not shake this insane idea. And I left my career. My plan was to get in my van and go to Florida and just live. And on my way there, I had to stop at Amicalola and I asked God to give me an answer why I couldn't shake this insane idea. And 
on January 14th of 2022, I hiked up to Amicalola with no equipment, no gear, no trekking poles. I hiked up to Springer Mountain, and when I got up there, I was I was just freaking out because I was like, there's the first white blaze, there's the plaque, all these things I've seen. And there was a guy sitting there, I didn't even notice him, a hiker. He was just sitting there by himself. And I was like, can you believe we're here? This is where it all starts, right? And he's like, well, this is where it ends for some people too. And I didn't even know about going south, right? I only knew north, right? And I said, did you just finish your hike? And he said, yeah. And I talked to this guy for 30 minutes and he had to go. And I hiked like about 200 yards on the AT. So I could say I hiked on the AT. Mm. And as I was coming back down, there's another hiker going north now. And I stopped to talk with him for a second and I said, how far are you hiking? And he, he, uh, he goes, I'm going to Maine. But he, he whispered it. And after I left that guy, he went north, I went south, I stopped about a minute later, and I knew I'd gotten my answer from God. I just saw a guy finish his through hike, and I saw a guy start his through hike, and I knew right there I wanted to be that guy. I wanted to be that guy that started and finished this trail. And right there, I... I continued to drive to Florida. I went to my first REI store and I walked in and they were like, can, you, can we help you? And I was like, I didn't know how to say it. I said, I think I want to hike the AT. <laughs> and they were like, yeah! And they were like, let's get them started. And I geared up and in a couple of months and I got on trail March 22nd. I didn't know I was going to hike this trail till January 14th had no gear, no experience, never spent a night in the woods. And on March 22nd, I started my hike. And it was, it was, it's, it's, it wasn't, I didn't choose this trail. This trail chose me. Yeah. You know what's interesting too? You were watching my videos before we met. Mm -hmm. You know what date I started the AT? March 22nd. March 22nd. <laughs> That's wild, isn't it? Yeah. Things happen out here, and you have to experience to know what I'm saying. But things happen out here that you cannot explain. And um, after, after a while, you just, you just know things are going to be okay. And um, what I tell people is... Um, the thing I'm more proud of than hiking 2,200 miles across America is that I listened. I listened to an insane idea and I didn't deny myself the greatest joy I've ever experienced. This trail has changed me. I'm a totally different person. Um, I'm not afraid to tell people I love them anymore. Because um, I do. And it's real. And um, the community of people out here, along with all these miles that we do, um, there's nothing like it. I've never experienced anything like it. Absolutely gorgeous.